You're listening to When Christians Speak Online Talk Radio, broadcasting out of the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. Today's voice crying out in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. When Christians Speak is dedicated to lifting up the name of Christ Jesus and spreading the good news. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Welcome to the broadcast. This is When Christian Speak Talk Radio. This is Bread of Life with Reverend Ray. I'm your host today. We're going to do uh, a, re- uh, the, <laughs> a review, a, a year in review, amen, and um, just do some different things. We're excited about being in the, in, in the broadcast with you today. Um, we are doing a little bit different. We're broadcasting from Richmond, Virginia, which is my hometown, actually, and um, um, broadcasting live from here, everything. Um, this has been a really good year for the broadcast, and I want to give you some updates and some information. Amen. Um, but first, what we're going to do, we're going to pray. Uh, we're going to play our uh, online listing, and we'll be back in a minute. Amen. Listen to When Christians okay. Speak Online Talk Radio. On Blog Talk Radio, iHeartRadio, Speaker.com, and Live 365 with 24-7 Gospel Music. All of our broadcasts are available as podcasts through SoundCloud, YouTube, iTunes, Blueberry.com, Zoom.com, Stitcher.com, Lisbon.com, and BlogTalkRadio.com. To listen to our broadcast by phone, dial 646-478-478. 0660. Again, that number is 646-478-0660. Go visit and like our Facebook page, When Christians Speak Talk Radio. Also be sure to check out Christians Against Suicide and Depression. It's a page dedicated to sharing God's love, encouragement, and hope. There are prayer warriors standing by to receive prayer requests, doing intercession for those under attack by the lie and deception of the devil. We know that the devil came to steal, kill, and destroy. But praise God, Jesus came to set the captives free. Amen, 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 and amen, amen, and amen. God, you are so good, yes. And your mercy endures forever. Amen, amen, amen. Again, everyone, we want to welcome you back to the broadcast. This is When Christmas Speak Talk Radio. This is the Bread of Life. I'm your host, Reverend Ray. Amen. This is um, going to do a, a year in review of 2015. Uh, we had so many guests that come on. Uh, we're going to try to make sure we cover all of them, but I was looking at the numbers, and we had pretty much like, uh, let me make sure I got it right, over almost 200, more than 250 um, different shows for this year. So we're excited uh, what God has been doing. Let's go ahead and start out in a word of prayer. Amen. Father God, we just want to say thank you for the year. Thank you for the Christmas holidays, the season, for your birth of you, God, as we celebrate this month. We want to thank you in advance, God, for every miracle that you have performed in our life, God, and those things that you will do. We give this broadcast to you and say, have your way, Holy Spirit. We pray that you would come, Lord Jesus, and begin to prepare us for 2016 as 2015 begin to to wind down. We pray, God, that we have been obedient to you, that we have been a servant to you, that we have sought after the things that you do, God. We pray, Lord Jesus, that as this year begins to end, that we look back over the year, and if there's anything that we have done or said or acted upon, God, that was not in the in your will, we pray that you will forgive us, Lord Jesus. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you forgive us and bring us back into right relationship with you. We do pray this prayer in Christ Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. Like I said, uh, the, we've been doing this, y'all, um, ever since um, 2013, February. Um, in fact, that'll be our anniversary year. But this has been a, um, a, a extremely great year for the broadcast and for the, some of the things that God is doing with us. We had like three new shows uh, and hosts to come up and be a part of the team. Um, the first one was the Alabaster Box with Prophet Carla R. Johnson. Amen. She does her broadcast every fourth Saturday of the month. And then, of course, we had um, Challenge to Change with Pastor Paul Morgan. That's the broadcast that we do on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. And Lifeline 
with Apostle Shirley Jones, and she does her broadcast us every first Monday of the month. Amen. And not forget, we, get, we also added Midday Glory Prayer with Reverend Gwendolyn Dixon. That's every Wednesday at 12 noon. Amen. So God has blessed this ministry um, for us to increase in it and everything. And we are grateful for the increase that he has given us. Amen. Amen. And the people that has came forth, like Pastor Paul Morgan and um, um, Prophet Carla Johnson and Apostle, amen, Shirley Jones and Reverend Gwen that have stepped forth, amen, so that the gospel of Jesus Christ may be preached and, and given and sent out to the masses. Um, we are also pleased, amen, um, to know that we are broadcasting or we have listenership in over well over 131 countries, amen. And it's not because of, we got all the right answers and nothing like that, but but God is showing us favor, and we pray um, for those that are listening in places like China or um, Africa or Southeast Asia or some of the other countries or Philippines or whatever that you're being blessed um, by this ministry that we are touching your lives and changing your lives. To show you a more excellent way, which is Jesus Christ, regardless of whether you are accepted as your Lord and Savior or not. We pray that through this ministry, we are doing just that. Amen. So we are grateful to be doing that. Amen. And um, touching the lives of others. This is what we are all about. Um, this broadcast, this uh, not broadcast, but this station was created out of love to reach out for the masses of people that are suffering or that are going through and uh, don't know what else to do next. Um, we try to cop cover a, a huge amount of different topics um, for you, amen, from health to um, finances to um, you name it. And we got some other things that we're working on in um, 2016 that will come to pass, amen. We are looking on at bringing a couple, a few more other different broadcasts onto uh, When Christian Speed, amen. Um, before I get into the, the nitty of what I want to talk about, I do want to share with you that when Christian Speak Talk Radio is an incorporated company, and man, we were, we have been incorporated uh, since January of 2015. Amen. We also received our 501 501c status. Amen. So that if you have a desire to give, you can give, and it can be a tax write-off to you. But our focus. It's mainly on getting the word out, you know, of the preaching of the gospel or, or edifying, edifying the body. That's basically what it is we do. And we do that by uh, different ways of uh, posting different things, not only on Facebook, but also having speakers come onto the broadcast that may have written a book that's, that is inspiring, that have a CD out, and that is inspiring, you know, that kind of thing. Or maybe be, uh, have a pastor, maybe a pastor of a church, or they may even be a situation where they, they are leading another nonprofit organization. The idea for us is to get the word out, amen, and to bring these um, content so that people may know who, 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 who they are, amen. And I think in um, 2015, we, we, have, we have achieved that. And I say we're talking about myself and, and uh, Reverend Pat, who, who do the um, the the, uh, the logistics of what Christian speak, and um, um, I thank Pat for hanging in with me, man, and keeping me in check, you know. And uh, <laughs> we complement each other with this, and that we both have, see the same vision for the broadcast, amen. And uh, we're expecting and looking forward for 2016 to be even better and bigger and to reach more people and to uh, to speak life and not death to more people, no matter who they are, where they are, what their background, whatever the case might be. So that's basically what we're trying to do with the broadcast itself. Amen. Um, let me just go this do this real quick, and then we'll take a real quick break. Amen. Our first broadcast of 2015, we're on Declaring the Finished Work Rando guest that was Reverend Kim Newman and um, oh man I remember that broadcast it seemed so long ago amen <laughs> but like I said we have done over two, almost 250 um, broadcasts of uh, podcasts since that time amen and it was good we I think we had, had Kim, Kim uh, Reverend Kim on earlier and stuff like that uh, in 2014 I think 
Amen. But it was just good to have her. Amen. We also had, uh, let's go down the list of some different um, people that we had come on the, on the broadcast. We had Arthur Prophetess Deshana Jones. I mean, it was an evening. It was on a Friday night, Joy. We had her come on. Amen. We was grateful to have her. We had Sister Trinita Thompson. Amen. Uh, amen. To come on. Amen. We had um, um, Apostle Edward Jones to come on on a Friday night, Joy. Amen. We had Elizabeth uh, Nadu, amen. She came on. She was a guest speaker. I think that she had been on with us before. Apostle Shirley Jones appeared with us for the first time in 2015 before she went on to start her own broadcast, amen. We had um, Reverend, uh, Reverend, we had Jackie Radical Blessed Williams. We've had her, her on several times. Uh, she's more or less been a co-host on, on, on with me on Friday Night Joy and some of the other different segments along with um, Reverend Pat. Um, Valerie Miller. Is, has did a, was doing a broadcast for a long time for Strong to call Strong Together with Valerie Miller and myself. Amen. We're looking for Valerie to to come back and do that again at some time in 2016. Amen. We had um 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 B D Gianni come on. She's a model and she talked about Christians in the art and um she talked about different things like that and and um she has a she had a modeling school and trying to teach young people what to look for and how to, you know, to get into the door with the parents, that kind of thing. We had Sienna Bobbitt. Um, she's a member of the Tree of Life. Man, she to preach an awesome message when the water breaks. Amen. We had that. Amen. We had, uh, let me see, we had Brother Marvin Williams come on on a Friday Night Joy. We had Lamont Carey. Come come on, man. Um, he's the founder of and the CEO of Contact Vis- Visit. We had Prophet Prophet Tori D. Knox come on, amen, which is another person that's been a regular um, on to the broadcast. We had her come on, man, in the 15. We have Minister, now uh, Minister Mike Cabrera, amen. He came on. Uh, Mike has a, um, a Facebook group, and let me make sure I turn to that, amen. Um, that I, I usually um, tune in, and he has quite a few followers on the Facebook, amen, on his Facebook page, and he's always posting, encouraging, and um, remarks and all that kind of stuff, and we were just excited this brother came on, and um, he preached the house, man, he did, uh, he was, he was, he was preaching, you know, let me see if I, I want to make sure, yeah, God has not forgotten, it's your time, um, and he's one of the men and the founder of God has not forgotten you. It's your time. Amen. Uh, so we had him come on in 2015. I'm telling you, we had some awesome, awesome preacher. And then Prophet Carla uh, had a guest on, Adriana Chavis, come on, and she talked a little bit about health. Um, we had uh, John and Morris and John Baker on Strong and Together with myself and Valerie Miller. I mean, 2015. Amen. This is back in March. Uh, if I'm like, one was a football player, the other one was a basketball player, and they said they was, per- they was really, really good back in the day. So it was good to have them come on. Amen. Amen. I'm just gonna go down the list real quick, and then we're gonna take a quick break. Break. But um, like I said, we had uh, Pastor, Pastor. Um, Harriet Den- Dennis comes on with declaring the finished work. Amen. She was a guest with um um. With Pat Randall declaring the finished work. Then we had this young lady, is an entrepreneur, Terriana Brown. Um, she was doing a special broadcast that we did, uh, um, Wings of the Spirit, uh, prophet and an entrepreneur. She's a prophet and entrepreneur. I also follow her, amen, and she just finished doing an uh, online, uh, I think it was seven-day uh, work prayer slot for seven different prayers, amen. So uh, we enjoyed her coming out to the broadcast and also showcasing her profit, her products, amen. Um, amen, like I said, we had several people, Apostle Fidel Donaldson, this dude has written about, he's the author of like nine different books. Um, Google him, amen. Go to blog talk radio slash when she creeps. When, when Kristen's speaking, you'll see some of the th- different things because he's been on one time, but we have replayed that broadcast many more times. Amen. Author of nine books. I mean, that's Apostle Fidel Donaldson. We had Pastor Kevin Johnson comes on with declaring the finished work. We have uh, uh, Derek Doc Pearson. 
He's in, uh, um, um, he got a CD. We play his music sometimes. In fact, we can play some of his music again today. He, he came on on Wings of the Spirit with Reverend Pat Randa. Amen. Um, pa- Reverend Paul Morgan did his first broadcast with us at the, um, with, with, well, on the clan and finished work before he went on to start his own broadcast also. Um, of course, we had my pastor, James Robinson, and, and Pat Robinson, Pat, Pat, and Pat Randall's pastor, um, James Robinson of the Tree of Life Christian Ministry, a man located in Clinton, Maryland, a man, and also uh, his wife, uh, Pastor Marsha Robinson, a man. So we had all kinds of things. They had a broadcast, I think I did a broadcast called Part Two is Morning, you know, a man, um, um, I'm just going down the list. I'm gonna get through this minute. We have uh, Demont Carey. I mean, that was probably a rebroadcast of him. A lot of these we did was um, like rebroadcast. Amen. Uh, Minister Van did a piece on humility. We had Gina Kane come back with us. She came with us in 2014. And uh, we did a broadcast called Nothing is Too Hard for God. Uh, it was a, 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 a thing that I did with Gina came to talk about um, her receiving Jesus Christ and her Lord and Savior and being her, and her family being baptized um, on, the, on the air. So we had that. We had Elder Mike Cross, who was a special guest on Friday Night Joy. I also did an interview with Susan Wim that talked about how to buy gold with the Carabao system. Amen. And then I did a special broadcast, God is still calling your name. Amen. Then we had Sister Tracy B. Price come, come on and, and talk about the nonprofit organization that she's doing and the different things. These are some power people that have come on to the broadcast. Amen. Pastor James Robinson, I'm not going to read all of them. Pastor James Robinson, had a, we did a broadcast called call, um, – Coming to the Defense City, the year of the release. Amen. Amen. I want to make sure that I got all I guess. Amen. Um, I did a broadcast called When We Touched the Hem of Jesus' Garment. Uh, Reverend Nate Newman I mean, did a Bread of Life broadcast called Walking the Joshua Anointing. Amen. And uh, Minister Van did one, Don't Settle for Just a Relationship. All of these are on Blog Talk Radio, on When Christians Speak Talk Radio. I mean, you can go back and listen to the ones that we did in 2015. Amen. I mean, it's it's quite a bit, quite a few. Amen. Um, I want to see. Amen. Um, I did one called A Chosen Generation, amen, on a Friday, Lord. We also had, uh, I'm trying to find the one for Apostle Shirley. She had, she's done two so far, amen, 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 amen. I don't see what I'm looking for. I'm looking at, a, oh, I just look at it. Apostle, while we are waiting, that, that was the, uh, um, the last one she did for the month. That would, in fact, that would be the last one for the year uh, by Apostle Shirley Jones. Amen. Um, who else we got? Amen. Uh, Pastor Paul Morgan had um, challenged to change. has been doing this, a series on control and critical spirit. Amen. And, and um, uh, so I'll go back here and challenge you. Of course, in the last one I've been so far is Friday Night Joe, but we can do a couple more before the year's out. And Reverend Kim Newman did one back in um, November called Thanksgiving, you know, uh, Thanksgiving and everything. So I'm going to go back and listen to some of these broadcasts, some of these awesome, awesome guests that we've had on, man. They, are, you know, they, they, bring, they bring the word, you know. They bring forth the word. And that's why I said that God has blessed this ministry. And we're looking for God to do some great and wonderful things in 2016. But I'm grateful um, for all that he has been doing with us. Amen. This started off, I don't even I don't want to call it a hobby, hobby, but this started off with me wanting to share the word of God um, about my testimony. And it started off um, like that. It was inspired by Aisha Karifa Samant, which is uh, my sister-in-law that had written a book called Down in White Black, and she was doing a, um, uh, a podcast or a radio broadcast on Black Hole Radio at the time, and I was just intrigued, you know, and it was, wasn't was anything that I thought that I could do myself, you know, but I felt a drive to do it, and I tried it, and 
and really didn't have a lot to say. Uh, stut- uh, stumbled and stuttered and all the but we look. Let me tell you, if you go back and listen to some of the old broadcasts, there was a lot of mistakes <laughs> made in the early days because we were still trying to find tune and trying to find the direction and. Um, trying to learn about the technology and all that kind of stuff. But between myself and Pat, God has blessed us to move forward. Not that we have already obtained. <laughs> don't get me wrong. Don't let, not that we don't make mistakes and everything because we still do. But there's not as many as they were before. So we are grateful for God, amen, for the people that God has put in our life, it's in my life and everything. Um, that includes Pat to lead us in the di- right direction, to help us out. Um, during this time, and uh, to find them, I mean, Pat has um, is in charge of our marketing department, and a lot of the promos you see is what she do, you know. And um, this is a passion that she has for for the broadcast, Amen, Amen. So we do give a um, shout out to her, to all the different hosts and co-hosts. I mean, there were, um, like I said on Facebook, I don't know where I shared this, but we were um, in iTunes. On the uh, nonprofit organization, we were we made it to the top forty, amen. On the nonprofit, on what's hot, amen. And um, and that's a, a reflection of not me, because it's not a one person. This is all about God, but the people that God has put into this ministry to put it forth, to to push it forth. And we are grateful to even to you, our listeners, that listen to the broadcast. You send your comments to your broadcast, to the broadcast. You either like us or you don't like us, and everything. And we are grateful for those that leave comments, especially on iTunes, because iTunes is a major um, um, place where we get a lot of our listeners from, everything. So we are grateful for them. We're grateful for the different platforms that God has blessed us with. On Blog Talk Radio, I mean, to be able to do this week in and week out. I mean, we're grateful um, to your listening for those that are connected, whether you be another host, uh, whether you just want to listen in, or whether we're grateful for speaker.com being connected with them and iHeartRadio and being connected with them and um, some of the other different ones that's out there. You know, we're, we're grateful. Um, to be connected to SoundCloud and YouTube and these different formats that's out there, to be uh, not just going through one particular portal, but we're using many portals to get the word out about when Christians speak, and not that we become big and mighty, but that's that we want to show you love by bringing forth the gospel of Jesus Christ and the peace that passes all understanding. So we're grateful, uh, especially to our families, um, that has hung in there with us. Um, <laughs> that has redesigned the website, Jordana, and uh, and Amen, and um, to everybody that's a part of my, my my pastor, every part of my family, my brothers that came on in the early be, beginning, of, uh, um, Bishop Middleton uh, of of PFC International that came on, you know, along with my mom, some of the people that came on in the beginning of this. Um, and uh and helped us along and everything and uh and that poured into us. even the prophetic words that have came through um directly to me um to encourage me when I felt like I didn't know exactly what I was doing. I'm grateful to every single last one of you that has spoke life into this broadcast, even those that was very critical of it. And um, and to make us perfect, that's the way I look at it, <laughs> Prophet Brown, <laughs> to make us better than what we are, to make us be more fine-tuned, to take away all the ism and the schism, and that we are grateful for the, for the things that, that you're doing. Amen. Um, I would also want to give out a shout-out to um, Apostle Devon. Amen. Who has poured into most of the people of life, all of our lives, have yet to get on to come on the broadcast. But she was very instrumental, especially when I was going through a very difficult time and when I went down to Florida, y'all, and um, last year. Amen. Amen. And and she and the minister there, and um, they poured into my life a lot. So I'm grateful um, to the people, of God, um, not just here, but the tree of life. Where my life source, man, <laughs> you know, where God gave me life again, and of course my cousin Robin White, who is one of the board members, Amen. So God has done great and wonderful things for us, 
Amen. And we just want to praise him and give him glory for this broadcast. Then what we're going to do, we don't want to talk all the time. We're going to play, play a quick song. In fact, I want to play, uh, let's see what I want to play. Amen. Uh, this is a song by Doc Pearson, who had been a guest with on Wayne Christmas Talk Radio. And this is his this song called The Lord's Been Good to Me. Amen. Jesus lifted me Now I keep my mind fixed on Thee Lord, You keep me in perfect peace And I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me Great has been thy faithfulness Coming in and going out I'm blessed And with my heart I believe in true righteousness And now I'm so glad he lifted me Giving me the victory Time after time The Lord's been good to me Yes, he Outstanding musician, 
Thinker, amen. Um, amen. You can find him. Amen. I believe we should have him on his web, on our website. But also, if you Google the Lord's been good to me, Doc Pearson, amen, you will find him. Also, listen, another person, yeah, by the way, this is when Christian Speed Talk Radio. This is the Bread of Life. I'm your host, Reverend Ray. This is a year in review of 2015. Another brother I didn't get a chance to mention. I just thought about it, man. That is, he's obtained to is um, Brother Mac. Uh, let me see if I, Brother Lewis Mac, McLean, amen, um, and everything. Uh, and he has some music out too. He's one of the young men we're trying to group to come on. Another person I didn't get a chance to mention is um, Sister Julia France, amen. Julia is um, an amazing woman that that deals in her organization uh, with Prophet Carla Johnson, deals with um uh, with uh, abusive relationship of of uh spousal abuse, anything like that, child abuse, amen. Um and um she's the founder of a, a, a advocacy group that try to go out and help people. And she also goes out and ministers to other uh based off of what she has gone through and some of the other people have gone through. Some we was excited to have her come on. In fact, one of the things that I shared with Prophet Carla um, concerning Sister Julia France is that her broad, her particular uh, podcast, um, which was called, let me make sure I turn to it real quick because I don't want to say anything wrong. Amen. But her, her particular broadcast deal with uh, domestic violence, domestic violence awareness. Amen. And that particular broadcast or podcast even men in China, man, was awesome. It did better in China than it did in the United States and everything. I mean, it was that those kind of numbers, and I I was impressed with that. That uh, I wanted to share that again with her. Another guest that had been that has been with us um, in 2015, 2015 with the clan of Reverend Pat Rana, with Reverend Anne Varner. Amen. She has been with us also. Amen. So there has been, I mean, there has been quite a few different people that have been on the broadcast in 2000. Amen. And we are grateful to God for every single one, um, the, whether it was a co-host or whether it was a, um, a, a guest or whether they just called in to um, to speak or whatever. We are grateful again. Amen. Amen. So again, we're looking for some some really great things to take place in um, 2016. You know, we're just grateful to God. Amen. Our website, uh, as if you don't know already, is is is, is being given a new facelift. Amen. So we're trying to get uh, more user friendly. I'm, I'm I'm told. So <laughs> that's a good place to be, I guess. So we're trying to get more user friendly, and we're trying to get a little bit more professional than what we do. So we want to be able to bring you the best. Um, broadcast every single time we come on air, um, the bre- the best sound, um, the best um, new music, amen, with uh, the artists involved and that kind of stuff. If you are interested in coming on When Christians Speak Talk Radio, radio we would encourage you to get in contact with us, uh, amen. You can do this by uh, going to whenchristianspeak at gmail.com. And you can get in contact with that way or through Facebook or social media and just send us a message that way that you're interested. Amen. Um, and then, then we'll tell you what we need from there. Amen. But again, God, we are just glad, y'all. We're just glad <laughs> that God is involved with us. This is a God thing. This is not a Reverend Ray thing. This is not a Reverend Pat. None of that. This is all about um, the Lord. Amen. Amen. What we're going to do real quick, amen, we're going to play one more song. These are some of the songs that um, um, I really like. Of course, we should start it off with a lot of our songs. With You said this is Andre Rose, amen. This is like a theme song for, I think, all of, thir- all of 14 and, and parts of 15, you said, amen.
yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's gonna be all right. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Everything is going to be all right. Amen. Andrea Rose, you said sometimes we got to give God a you said prayer. Amen. Again, you're listening to what Chris is me, Talk Radio. I'm your host, Reverend Ray. We are broadcasting live. Live, y'all, from Richmond, Virginia. It's like, yeah, we broadcast from Richmond, Virginia, not Washington, D.C. Amen. This is the Bread of Life segment. We're doing a year in review today. This is our last Sunday of 2015. Amen. We just want to give a shout out to every single person that's been on the broadcast as either a host or a guest or a co-host. Amen. God knows I love you. God loves you more. Amen. Thank you for everything. Thank you all our, the people that have listened in 2015. We God bless you. Thank you. Thank you and thank you. Um, some of the other names I didn't get a chance to mention so far, we did a broadcast. I, I'm not sure I mentioned this young man now, but Pastor Kevin Kevin Jackson Sr., amen. He was with Reverend Pat declaring the finished work, amen. And Reverend Francis Mincer, amen, did a broadcast with me on Friday Night Joy where we talked about health, man. He made me feel so guilty about eating my sweet potato pies. He will be, if he saw the amount of pies that I took care of on yesterday, he would be shaking his head, amen. <laughs> amen. Amen, and stuff like that. So we had also them in. Then we also have on Friday Night Joy, we had Prophetess LaMonica Williams. Now, Prophetess LaMonica Williams had been with as a co-host before, amen, and we listed that on Facebook. We was talking about um, the, the iTunes and what was going on with iTunes and that kind of thing. But she's a founder of Healing and Refuge um, Center. She also uh, participated on different Facebook, different sites that we have, and she posts different things and different events, and amen, amen, um, so we're grateful for the work that she does with us, amen, amen, there's different people that everybody has their own role that they are players, so that's Prophet Carla Johnson, she also posts different things that come in events and that kind of thing, amen, um, the other person we had, I didn't get a chance to mention, Brother Charles White. He was with Reverend Pat. They did a uh, a series on Crisis in My Life, Amen. And the, the voice that you hear in the beginning of the um, the broadcast, Amen. The, the announcement is Brother Charles White. So we're excited about what God is doing uh, with him, man, um, as far as doing the promo. Him and Reverend Francis both, we try to work with him. Stay tuned. We got some things in the work, amen, that God's going to allow us to get better with that, too. Amen. I already mentioned um, around Julie um, France, man, and what she does and the things that God has blessed her with in her ministry. Amen. Um, what I want to do right now is I want to go back over probably the last um, eight broadcasts is coming from um, south, from the 16th, tw- um, December 12th, 16th. Uh, His Abound and Grace Minute Van did a broadcast of Don't Settle for Just a Relationship. Uh, re- this is right after Ray- Reverend Nate Newman did one called Walking Your Joshua Anointing. I did one called A Chosen Generation. Amen. Um, Pastor Paul Morgan, um, last broadcast, he has one more comment on um, this Wednesday, amen, did one on forgiveness, challenge to change with Pastor Paul Morgan. Of course, Reverend Pat did Christmas Eve um, on declaring the finish with Reverend Pat Randall, amen. Um, I also did one called the Bread of, with the Bread of Life broadcast called God is With Us and um, Friday Night Joy, the Ten Commandments for Intercession. Some of these are, are repeats and that kind of thing, but I want to mention them because these are the year-ending broadcasts, and every single one of them has some meaning to them. So I would encourage you to go back and listen to some of them and check them out. I mean, God is doing and speaking um, to his people. Amen. So that was basically it with the broadcast. What we're going to do real quick, I'm going to do something else, I think. Oh, man, I'm going to do, uh, what am I going to do? Amen. Just bear with me. Amen. But we are excited. I should have had this ready, right? Okay. Ah, okay, let's play this real quick. When Christian Speak Talk Radio is a non-profit ministry, we are dedicated to spreading the gospel of Jesus through our programs and special guests. 
We exist through the generous support of our listeners. If you are being blessed through this ministry and would like to give a love offering, go to our website and click on our donation page. Your donation will be processed through PayPal. Our prayer is that you may prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers. Amen. Amen. We invite you to join us for our weekly broadcast on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. with Minister Vanessa Williams on His Abounding Grace. Wednesdays at 7 p.m., Challenge to Change, where real transformation begins with you. That's with Pastor Paul Morgan of Chosen Generation Ministries of Richmond, Virginia. On Thursdays, live at 12 noon, join Reverend Pat Randall for Declaring the Finished Work. Reverend Ray and friends are here on Friday nights at 7 p.m. with the joy of the Lord on Friday Night Joy. Sundays at 7 p.m., Bread of Life, also with Reverend Ray. Join us monthly for our broadcast. We have Lifeline with Apostle Shirley Jones on first Mondays at 7 p.m. Every fourth Saturday, Alabaster Box at 7 p.m. with Prophetess Carla Johnson. For more information, go visit our website, www.whenchristianspeak.com. And be sure to visit and like our Facebook page, When Christians Speak Talk Radio. Amen. I also want to mention, don't forget to join us with Midday Glory Prayer with Reverend Quinlan Dixon. That's every Wednesday at 12 noon. Amen. The telephone number for that is 641-715-3580. 641-715-3580. The PIN number is 732-499. That's every Wednesday at 12, uh, at 12 noon, Midday Prayer with Reverend Quinlan Dixon. Amen. Um, what else? Um, I think that's it, y'all. You know, just just want to give a shout out to God. Amen. We're gonna play another song. Amen. This is called Eternal Praise. This is also by Doc uh, Doc Pearson. Amen. We thank him for allowing us to be able to play his music on When Christian Speak Talk Radio. I would encourage you to go um, check him out on his Facebook page. Amen. And um, again, you know, just, just check these check these people out, man. These are some awesome ministries that God has been that's been birthed in the United States. Amen. Respecting um, God to do great and wonderful things. There's some some great authors. I mean, Apostle Shirley Jones, and um, I mean, they, these are these people are just awesome. I mean, um, some of the books and stuff that they have out. Amen. And, and the things that God is doing in the ministry. Amen. So we want to be able to um, support them in any kind of way that we can, amen, um, um, to support some of the nonprofit organization that comes out to the broadcast. So we are grateful for that, amen. So what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to pray, play this song called Eternal Praise by Doc Pearson, amen. <laughs>
Amen, amen, eternal praise, y'all, I'm telling you. Again, you listen to Bread of Life with Reverend Ray. This is when Christian Speak Talk Radio. This has been a year in review. We can go ahead and get out of here. We want to thank God for every single one of you who been listening to the broadcast. Whether you listen to the archives, guess what? You can go back and listen to the archives of the broadcast. Amen. We have over 500. Bless God. Amen. Um, shoot me a line, man. Let me know what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong. I mean, <laughs> whatever you would like to do, shoot me a line. We would love to hear from you. You know, God has been good. God has blessed this minute. And we are excited about the 2016 that's coming. Amen. Again, this is the last Sunday of 2015 for us. Amen. And for broadcasting on with the Bread of Life, we have other broadcasts coming up, of course, on Tuesday with uh, – um, His Abounding Grace broadcast with His Abounding Grace with Minister Van, and of course we got declaring the finished work with Reverend Pat Randall on Thursday, on Wednesday, Amen, Amen. We got Paul Morgan at 7 p.m. Balance the change. So we got a couple more broadcasts before the year's out. So please stay tuned to them. Like us on Facebook, but also I'm going to encourage you to go to iTunes. We have two iTunes pages. Amen. Leave a review. Subscribe to us. Whatever you got to do. Don't forget, you know, that we do ha- we do have a couple of apps for you. They have the Android and the Apple app. You can um, subscribe that way. We just signed up with Google. Amen. We're in that Google's trying to focus on podcasts. Amen. So stay tuned for that. They have been given an official launch yet, but we signed up probably about a month ago. So we're going to uh, be on that too. We also, you can listen to us on your uh, TV <laughs> through Roku or some of the other different medias on there. Amen. And um, we're grateful uh, for what God is doing as far as pushing the ministry in different ways like that. So we pray that you will have a blessed rest of the week and then get ready to end this year, uh, hopefully and prayerfully, on your knees, amen, and being thankful for the things that God has done in your life and the things that God will do in your life because it does not yet appear. We pray that if you have not found a Bible-believing church that will love on you, that will disciple you, that will teach you the ways of Christ, amen, amen. We pray that you will find that particular church. That's our prayer for you today. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, all it takes is with a confession of the mouth and a believing of the heart, you know, that's the first step. And then you got to go and get discipled, amen. And also to understand that the gift of the Holy Spirit is just as a gift that too. All these things are for you if you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. So know one thing that we love you, amen. God loves you, and as they all, the old people you say, you can't do a thing about it. We pray that, again, in fact, let's go ahead and pray. Father God, we pray right now that your people will, will heed to the word, to the warnings, and to the signs that, 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 that is going on in the world today, God. We pray that they will not get weary and well-doing, but be strong and stand strong in the power of your might. We pray, Lord Jesus, not only for them, but for their families, those that they are connected to, that those that may not know you, Lord Jesus, will receive you this year in the rest of 2015 or 2016. We pray, God, that you would keep away the enemy's hand to destroy us, Lord Jesus. And if the enemy's hand, God, to be your will, that the enemy's hand come towards us, God, that we be able to persevere and to know that our help coming from you and to know that, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And to know, God, that you have an expected end, Lord Jesus, that is our good. So, Heavenly Father, we lift our hands in praise and worship to you. We submit ourselves to you, God, from the north and from the south and from the east and from the west, God, whether it be a bishop apostle, whether it be a lay person, whether it be an evangelist, whether it be a prophet or prophetess, God, whether it be a teacher or pastor or a singer, God, whoever, or usher, God, whoever, or servant, God, whoever they may be, God, we pray, God, that you will put a new burning desire in us, God, to serve you even more than we did in 2015. In fact, God, we pray for a revival to take place in us today, God, that we might begin to seek after you for real, for real, God, that we might be the mouthpiece, that we might be salt, light, and power. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Come with all your might and your glory. Upset the normalcy of just having church as usual, God. Come and fill the temple, God. Come and fill the temple to the point that the priests may not have an opportunity to do the, their duties, God. 
because your glory has filled the temple. Come, God, come, Lord Jesus. Begin to make those things that are wrong right. Begin to make us receive you more. Begin to make us to believe you more. Whatever is needed, whatever is necessary, God. We pray, God, to the way, Lord Jesus, in a sin and every sin easily beset us. Anything, God, that causes us to, to do wrong or causes, God, uh, 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 the aroma of you, of us to go up to you and not smell the way it should be, God. We want our aroma of praise and prayer to be a sweet swelling to you, God. We want you to look and say, well done, my good and faithful serving, God. We want you to do these things, not for our sake, but for your sake, God. The only one that can do that is you. We believe you, we trust you, and we pray the power of the Holy Ghost with all its might. Begin to operate in the body of Christ. Begin to go out there and become salt, light, and power to all the masses, that they might know that Jesus Christ is Lord. Let us not be afraid of the faces or the terror by night. Let us not be afraid of the arrows that fly, God. But let us know without a shadow of a doubt that anchor is sure, and our anchor is sure in you, and that no matter what the enemy do, even if it costs our life, Lord Jesus, that you will still get all the glory. We pray, Lord Jesus, for this, this the rest of the year and 2016, for all the things that take place, God, the good and the bad. We pray for even those that might go home and those that might go to sleep and lose their life, whatever. We pray for their families, God. We pray right now for those that already lost a family member, those that are going through loss. We pray, God, that you will come right now and begin to minister unto them. Begin to speak unto them, God. Begin to wrap your arms all around them. Begin to kiss them on their forehead. Begin to remind them, Lord Jesus, that you are here. You begin to let them know, Jesus, that your, your, your yoke is easy and your burdens are light. Begin to let them know, Lord Jesus, that you are there with them always. We pray, Holy Spirit, for this particular broadcast, that we would stay focused, that we would not get high in mind, that we would not get up, up feel, uh, be beside ourselves, God, or think highly of ourselves, God. But we would stay humble, God, with a place of, in a place of humility. That we will lay prostrate before you. That we will, God, persevere, God, and bring, God, great speakers and your word and, and great promises and word and bring people those that written in your word, God, to the people of God, to the masses, God, to the countries, different countries, Lord Jesus, that are listening. The broadcast the, to those that are suffering, God. We pray that we will bring an encouraging word, a, 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 an encouraging word to them, Lord Jesus. That no matter where they at, no matter they may be in jail, no matter they might be about to get their heads chopped off, no matter what they might be facing, maybe the finances, maybe they might be going through hunger, wherever we might bring the promises of yea and amen to them, God. We pray that this broadcast be exactly what you have called it to be, God. Not led by man but led by you, God. Not led by the board, but led by you, God. We pray, Lord Jesus, that we will reach out and touch the many, God, that so that the many will know that Jesus Christ is Lord. This is our desire. This is our purpose. And this is our plan, Lord Jesus, that they might know you for themselves, God. We pray for every bishop and every leader and apostle that you have placed on earth, God. We pray, God, that you will change our heart and our mindset, God, so that it will be a heart and mindset like your God, that they might know that we are living in the last day, that we might they may begin to cry out unto you and begin to cry out unto you say, Abba, Father, Lord Jesus, we pray right now, everyone, Lord Jesus, under the sound of my voice, God, you know that prayers like no one else. We pray that you reach out, God, and begin to do something new and fresh in their life, God, whether they're listening by archives, whether they're listening by live, or whatever different platforms, God. We pray right now that a special anointing will begin to flow in their life today, this moment, God, and change them inside out and outside in. We do pray this prayer in Christ Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless y'all. God bless you. Thank you for listening to Chris Beat Talk Radio. This has been the Bread of Life. I'm your host, Reverend Ray. This has been a year in review. 2015 is almost out of here, God. And we just want to bless God. We're still in the land of the living. 2016, and yet it's coming down in pack. We got a few more days. Y'all be blessed. Know that I love you. We're going to play this song by Andre Rose called God is My Source. Amen. Amen. Have a good one.